Hey, this is George from Death Heaven, and you're watching Heavy Consequence. Right off the bat, I'm sure you expected it, um, I want to talk about the 10th anniversary of Sunbather. Yes. Just because it's such a behemoth of a record, and, and one that's like really stood the test of time. I think it's fair to say after 10 years, stood the test of time. I appreciate that. So, I mean, 10 years, now that you've hit a decade, I'm just curious about like how your relationship with, that, with those songs have, have changed and morphed playing them all this time, going back and listening to them, like, how, how, what is your relationship and experience with that record now? Yeah, um, I think mostly uh, we're just really kind of appreciative that we have an album like this that has resonated with so many people um, over the last 10 years. Uh, certainly didn't expect anything close to that. Um, so I think that in and itself is is really nice. Um, it's it's been cool to revisit this time and um, you know we we've always played Sunbather songs in the set, but to do the album in full and to do the interludes uh, live and, and such is 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 very cool. It's it's um it's fun to revisit. Yeah, you know. But I <laughs> beyond that I don't have much thought. Um, just just thankful that people continue to jam it. Yeah, no, no, for sure. And I, and not to get negative with it, because it's not negative at all, but is it ever... F I like to ask this for people who have, like, sometimes a, a record or a project or even a song or something that's um, generally considered, like, by the populace, their most popular or their most their best or whatever. Is that ever frustrating as an artist who's, like, continuing to work? Or um, no. do, you, do you ever feel boxed in or anything like that? That's no, no. Uh, I think we do a okay job at not boxing ourselves in um of course my relationship to what we make versus a listener of ours is going to be totally different um and both are valid yeah, yeah. so it's all good it's <laughs> cool that you could put that separation up there i mean i think that benefits the music i think as long as we stay interested in what we're doing now um which we always are i think that you will i think any artist that continues to be interested in their own work will continue to produce good work I think I think when you care less it shows um, and so in, in that measure um, yeah I think all of our records are great <laughs> I think we'll, well, we'll, so do I so I, there you go. I appreciate that I think we'll just keep doing what we're doing but uh, again for people to say Sunday there's the best one uh, for me that's a good problem to have yeah you know? yeah for sure um, so Wrapping up the Sunbather talk, um, I'm just curious now that you're talking a little bit about kind of the uh, the difference between a listener's relationship with the music and your relationship with the music. Um, more than most, not even more more than most of your other records, but most than most people's records, um, I feel like Sunbather has become such a part of like online music mm. culture and community to the point where like it's one of it's an album cover that I see like memed yeah. much more than like any others. I think I see that Twitter account that's like words that fit yeah. on the Sunbather. Yeah. Is is that flattering or is that ever like oh I don't know if I'm in on the joke? It's very flattering. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Either I'm in on it or I'm not. It doesn't matter. Yeah. I, I think it's I think it's fun to see people. Um, take these ideas and and build on them in funny ways I mean one of the things that one of the reasons we wanted to release the typeface as a sellable item was that so people could appropriate it for their own use you know and I think we've seen a lot of it and that's fine by me yeah. <laughs> I love it too so I'm glad it's sanctioned now cool, yeah. cool, cool. Um, so jumping from 10 years ago to more recently love the record Obviously, a little bit of a shift in, in, in sonics and intensity. Um, so I'm, I'm curious, like, going back to that, even before, like, you guys teased the record, when you're just working on it or even just have the idea of, like, this is the direction we want to go in, was there ever, like, an anxiety around that? Or, like, oh, we don't know how people are going to take this? Like, that, that sort of thing. Of course, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, well, anxiety is, is a way to describe it. it, it for this record, it really was more of a curiosity um, because we were very excited about what we were doing and we understood the purpose um, and we understood why we were making a record like this. Um, and we were working with people that were um, really helping to see the vision. And so from our perspective, it was very positive. But yeah, you always want to know like how will our audience receive this? And we kept calling it making the jump, you know? and, and um, and for as dramatic a shift as it was, 
uh, I'm surprised, I'm happily surprised at how much um, people did respond positively to it and how many people did make the jump and it kind of integrates in our set in a really cohesive way now and um, it's just another thing we can use, you know, yeah. it's cool. Well, again, it's one of my favorite things about y'all is just uh, finding different ways to kind of like do something unexpected or, or push the boundaries, not to go back to Sunbather, but I even remember like all the conversations about like what true black metal is and, and that record really kicked stuff up. Um, so I guess I, I would like to ask about that is like now that 10 years have kind of vindicated and not to be mean, but proven the haters wrong. Um, how do you look back on like those conversations and, and taking artistic risks and stuff like that? Yeah, it's funny. It's funny because at the time it really was like it, it, it sort it affected us in, in a way, I would say. Um, I was very kind of taken aback that people would be so critical of what we were doing. Um, these days, I, it's, I, I just don't feel that way um, about criticism, um, thankfully. Uh, and, and I'll say this, especially post-pandemic, coming back to touring and after having a couple years off, um, our audience who has changed and become younger don't necessarily have an idea of what the reception of this record was like 10 years ago. So for them, it's just like, oh, I just enjoy this. And so I found out more so than that, more so now than ever, do we come in contact with people who are just genuinely excited about the band, who don't, uh, who don't care or even uh, know about supposed controversy, whatever. So it's cool. Yeah, we're just we just get to do what we do and. Thankful that we're still doing it. Yeah, you're, you're too nice to say it, but you won. That's what happened, right? Yeah. <laughs> I'll take it. <laughs>